want to make a couple of introductions. And first off, um, thank you so much for being here to celebrate this big day for Sarah and Aaron on the grand opening of the first Chick-fil-A to the Quad Cities area. All right, so I am Brandon Olson. Um, I work with Chick-fil-A Corporate. Um, I've been with Sarah and Aaron for the past few months, um, serving her and her family, uh, just helping get this restaurant open. Um, we actually have a guest with us today. Uh, she is a third generation from the Kathy family. Um, so without further ado, Miss Rachel Kathy. Um, so this is a family business and um, it's, it's an honor to be here, but my grandfather Truett, um, he, he started the original Chick-fil-A on the south side of Atlanta, but before that, as a young boy, he was watching his mom run a boarding home, and so um, as she was showing hospitality and cooking these meals, he would watch her um, and learn uh, just about hospitality and great food and the preparation of that. Um, he, he was an entrepreneur uh, at heart, and one of his first uh, jobs, one of the first things he did was he would sell Coca-Colas door to door. So you'll see in the restaurant today, if you take a look around, there's elements of Coca-Cola and even uh, some glass bottles that are flattened in one of the um, light fixtures there. But he would uh, realize he could make a, a profit if he was uh, selling them and he would put them on ice. So he'd put them in a little red uh, uh, wheelbarrow there and fill it with ice and he would uh, sell them um, that way. He earned enough money doing that to purchase his first bicycle. And with the bicycle, he used that to um, run his paper route. <laughs> And what granddad uh, discovered is that folks had a preference on where they might want their newspaper. Uh, so he learned the nuances of where he could place the newspaper for that particular customer so that it wouldn't get wet or ruined or it was right where they wanted it. Um, and so he learned these, these details of elements of hospitality and getting to know his customers. Um, and then that led to after the war, he and his brother Ben uh, pulled their money together and opened a small restaurant. It was so small, they called it the Dwarf House. Uh, but it's still there on the south side of Atlanta. So I encourage you guys, if you're ever there, to come by and see uh, the original uh, Chick-fil-A. But uh, the, the seats are now uh, well worn and, and the brick is faded, but the hospitality and the legacy is the same. And that's why I'm so excited uh, today to be in uh, Prescott Valley and to, to introduce you uh, to, the, to the family. Um, that will be um, here and in this community and um, creating um, jobs. And so just welcome to all of you um, council uh, members, uh, mayor, and everyone uh, that's out today to, to support. Uh, we want to be a great uh, neighbor and um, looking forward to serving you delicious uh, chicken and with that same detail of hospitality that granddad began uh, in 1946. And so um, what's unique uh, about this family as well is it's truly a family business um, where um, Sarah's uh, uh, father is an owner operator of Chick-fil-A in Albuquerque and so um, she has grown up in the, in the restaurant business and um, but so excited for um, her opportunity um, here and so um, they are um, in the community here their son Caleb um, born here but I want to um, uh, introduce you uh, to Sarah and as granddad uh, said this is um, the hero of the community and this is her opportunity and so um, welcome Sarah and her husband Aaron and Mary Lee and Caleb. thank you everyone for being here this is such an amazing opportunity for us this is something that Aaron and I and now Caleb have looked forward to for so long so it's such a pleasure to be open in this community. Um, our vision for the community is we want to be the safest, the friendliest, the fastest, and the highest quality quick service restaurant in the Quad Cities area. So <laughs> we are going to work really hard. I know that's a high expectation, but we want to work really hard to be the best that we can um, in this community. We have a really special bond. Our son Caleb was born here. So not only is our business here, but our son was born here. And we feel so connected already. It's been amazing. I just want to thank all of you for the welcome that we have received. So many people have reached out to us. It was too funny. I had gone to the hospital. I'd had the baby. I started getting emails from people saying, hey, you had the baby. Congratulations. And so word gets around in a small town. But I, I appreciate that. I love that small town feeling. I love that that's the place where we get to have our business. And my commitment to all of you is that we're going to do our best to serve this community well. We want to be partnered with the community and we want to give back to the community because we're so thankful for everyone who comes into our business. So we appreciate you all being here and we're excited. Are we doing the book house now? Awesome. So this right here is through the Chick-fil-A Foundation. So this is a book house for our um, premiere night during our first 100. We have 
collected books for Granville Elementary School. So we would love if y'all would come up so we can present you with this. Um, hopefully uh, the kids in the school will be excited about learning. They'll get to look at these books, be able to learn to read. We got some little kiddos here. Hey guys, did y'all get to meet the cow? Yeah? And you got some little cows that are like, oh, I'm kind of scared. So, uh, so we would love to present this to you and hope that we can build further relationships with the elementary school and we'd love to support you guys in helping with education with the kids if you're in Prescott Valley. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Next guest we'd like to introduce is Harvey Scoo, the mayor of Prescott Valley. Mm -hmm. Hi there, thank you. I want to congratulate and thank all our uh, Chick-fil-A people. I'd like to introduce a very special guest here. I know he's uh, kind of modest. His name is Greg Mangrelli, mayor of Prescott. <laughs> And I see Councilwoman Jody Rooney here, Councilman Marty Grossman. I'm not sure if there's any other. Is there any other, Jody? I haven't seen the others. If they're here, I'm not seeing them. Looking at it, toward the sun, I'm not seeing very much. <laughs> By the way, Greg has his, uh, what is it, parole officer? No, secretary. Bebby's <laughs> <laughs> so, here, here to help her, help him. So we're going to have fun today. We're going to cut that ribbon. We love it. I heard you nothing but great stuff about Chick-fil-A. We're so happy to welcome you to Prescott Valley. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, so we are going to cut the ribbon. Everyone ready? Yes. Uh, Sarah, Aaron, and the Prescott Valley uh, Council. Council. Okay. If you would join us up front. Oh, no. The whole chamber. Yeah, the chamber. Come on up. <laughs> All right, here. Let's see. If you, can all... you guys use the back. As you guys are coming up, I want to. I want to remind you that. Um, so we serve uh, the, our fresh, delicious chicken six days a week. Uh, so. Granddad, um, in, in the business, when it came to uh, Sunday, he had been working 24 hours at the din original diner, and he said, we got to Sunday, and he wanted to spend time with his family, and to, to worship, and to um, uh, just be able to rest. And so you're going to have delicious chicken coming out of this Chick-fil-A for six days, uh, six days a week, but we are um, closed on Sunday. So.